Today, I give you an update on a sister species of the underrated Lazios niger, Lazios flavos. Right after the intro. Hello and welcome to another Ants Vienna episode everyone! The last time we talked about Lazius flavos, I gave you a general introduction to the species as well as what to expect if you decide to keep them as your pets. While doing so, I showed you footage from various colonies in their test tubes. Meanwhile, I have picked a favorite colony with two queens, that is, Sarah and Lara. This colony had the privilege to be moved in a compact plaster formicarium, like the one we built last time in our build tutorial. Make sure to check that out guys. Also, do me a favor and hit that like button if you like this video. Not only does it help the channel with a new algorithm, but it also lets me know if my content is useful to you. And Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. First, because you're already watching this video and second, so you don't miss any upcoming updates and build tutorials. Because this is something that we do when ants are in hibernation. We build setups for the next ant season, right? Right, okay. Regarding the move of our colony now to the new setup. Since a large hole would hurt the aesthetics of this setup. I decided to mount the test tube upside down to the wood stick and let the ants move in that way, while applying paraffin oil around the test tube to prevent them from climbing it upwards. And so, overnight, they had completed their move in. This formicarium gives them all the space they need to expand their colony even further in the future. If I wouldn't have done my antkeeper mistake, that is. Due to the whole excitement of filming and such, I totally forgot to water the plaster before putting them away. So, as a result, two-thirds of the workers died before I had the chance to glance at them again. When I saw all these dead workers lying around, I immediately poured in as much water as possible and managed to save both queens, all the brood and approximately 15 workers. I guess there is always room for mistakes in ant keeping and even experienced ant keepers are not excluded. If you forget something, it can be the tiniest of things, but watering your ants is crucial, guys. Don't do the same mistake. Okay, that being said, the remaining workers picked up all their dead sisters and piled them in a single chamber while continuing their services for the two queens. Now, the next thing I'll be doing is to put my Lazius Flavo setup to my basement for hibernation. The temperature there now is around 10 degrees Celsius and it should drop to about 8 or 7 in the next days since the temperatures outside are already nearing to zero. The only thing I have to make sure while they are in hibernation is to water them once or twice a week, until the next ant season comes. And that's all from my part today, guys. If there is a tip I can give you, that would be make sure to provide your ants with water at all times. If you tend to forget things, you should do it in form of a test tube or another little water reservoir. Just to have that insurance. It was a hard lesson for me, but I hope it doesn't become one for you. Question for you. 
Do you like laser species? Do you own any? What do you like in particular about them? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to read through your comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!